Reminder, please silence your cell phones and other electronic devices. We ask that the aisles remain clear as the graduates enter and exit today. Please stand as we welcome our college officials and distinguished faculty. It is my honor to present to you the Bryant and Stratton College graduating class of 2023.
I would like to ask the graduates and audience to remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Marine Corps Veterans Color Guard, followed by the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. Please be seated. Good morning. I'm Beth Murphy, the Richmond Campus Director for Bryant and Stratton College. I want to begin today's program by thanking the Marine Corps Veterans Color Guard for leading a highly inspirational opening. Welcome to the first annual May graduation. Woo! Today, we honor our April 2023 Bryant and Stratton College graduates. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Bryant and Stratton College, I welcome all of our guests and thank you for coming this morning to recognize the accomplishments of our graduates. A special welcome to our BSC alumni, elected officials, and Bryan and Stratton College senior leaders who are with us here to help celebrate our graduates. So today, a total of 180 graduates will receive their degrees from Bryan and Stratton College. And we are here to celebrate each and every one of you. 21 graduates have now earned their second degree with Bryan and Stratton in college, and 14 more graduates are currently enrolled working towards their second degree. 
Congratulations, class of 2020, excuse me, 2023. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the individuals joining me on stage. Keynote speaker, Dr. Joseph Wilkins. <laughs> Dean of Instruction, Dr. Christine Fusilier. <laughs> Program Director of Business Studies, Dr. Kenneth Moss. Dean of Nursing, Dr. Patricia Cohen. <laughs> Program Director of Allied Health, Ms. Terry Harris. <laughs> and Senior Academic Advisor, Ms. Deborah Merritt. <laughs> to my right, in the front rows, are the distinguished members of our faculty who have demonstrated extraordinary dedication in assisting our graduates to achieve their goals. I would like to ask the faculty to rise and be congratulated for their outstanding performance. Thank you. Additionally, I would take, like to take a moment to thank all of our Bryant and Stratton College staff these individuals, some who are with us today, have played key roles in the success of our graduates and have coordinated today's grand ceremony. Today, we are here to celebrate the progress that has yet to be made. Listen to that again. Today, we are here to celebrate the progress that has yet to be made. I heard this wonderful quote recently from Dr. Lucas, the president of Virginia Uni Union University. And this statement gives me chills and hope. Today we're celebrating all that you, our graduates, still must accomplish. While we're proud of the work that you've done to get to this point, we know that you have so much more to do. Each of you have the opportunity to positively impact our community. Among us are the healthcare workers that will tend to our ill. Among us are the entrepreneurs who will hire future graduates. Among us are the innovators who will make the Commonwealth a better place for all of us to live in. Among, of, among us are those who will make the difference. So today, graduates, I offer each of you my congratulations on behalf of the faculty and staff of Bryan and Stratton College. I thank you for being an inspiration to all of us. And I celebrate the progress that each of you has yet to make. Congratulations. The Graduation Committee strives for excellence in choosing a keynote speaker of distinction. For today's ceremony, we selected an individual whose passion for education and Bryant and Stratton College matches our own. Dr. Joseph Wilkins is originally from Halifax County, Virginia. He attended William and & Mary and received his Bachelor of Science prior to attending Virginia Commonwealth University and obtaining his master's and doctorate in physical therapy. Dr. Wilkins began his healthcare career as a physical therapist in Sheltering Arms Rehabilitation Hospital in Mechanicsville, Virginia, with the goal of helping people walk again. He attained this goal while working with patients who had suffered spinal cord injuries and strokes at Sheltering Arms and the Department of Veterans Affairs. After which, Dr. Wilkins set a new goal of helping more people. Seeing health administration as an appropriate route to achieve this objective, he returned to Virginia Commonwealth University and attained his master's in healthcare administration and embarked on his journey in hospital management. 
As part of this journey, Dr. Wilkins has served as Director of Rehabilitation for Henri Henrico Doctors Hospital, Assistant CEO for Southside Regional Medical Center, VP COO of Raleigh General Hospital in Beckley, West Virginia, and CEO of Wythe County Community Hospital in Withfield, Virginia. I have the pleasure of serving with Dr. Wilkins on the board of the Chesterfield County Chamber of Commerce. Additionally, Dr. Wilkins serves on the Virginia Health Workforce Development Authority, serves as Vice President of the Virginia High School League Foundation Board, is a deacon at Second Baptist Church in Chester, Virginia, served in the LEAD Virginia class of 2021, and represents the Commonwealth's healthcare sector in UVA's Sorensen's Institute Political Leaders Program class of 2023. Dr. Wilkins has been married to his lovely wife, Tanya, for 20 years, and they have three beautiful children. He's also been a great partner to work with with Bryan and Stratton College. It is my pleasure to introduce the 2023 commencement speaker, Dr. Joseph Wilkins. Well, good morning, everyone especially to the class of 2023. This is an exciting day for you all. And I know that I'm standing in between you and also going out to have dinner and also to confer these excellent degrees that you're going to get today. So I'm gonna make sure I get right to the point so you can get to the good stuff. First, I wanna thank the leaders of Ron and Stratton who are on the stage today, Ms. Beth Murphy, uh, Drs. Fusilier, Cohen, and Moss, as well as Ms. Terry Harris, the Director of the Allied Health Program, and Ms. Deborah Merritt, your Senior Academic Advisor. And as Ms. Murphy mentioned earlier, I'm a deacon at Second Baptist Church, and I have the opportunity actually to serve at that church with Ms. Merritt. So it is great to be here with her today. And Ms. Merritt, I want to make sure you take back to Pastor. Please let him know that today I'm going to follow by that little known beatitude of blessed are the brief, for they shall be invited back. <laughs> so as I start, I wanted to let you know that I did some research because I wanted to make sure you all had the best commencement speech ever for you. And so I started doing some Googling. I looked up different commencement speeches, best audience responses. I looked at some speeches by Denzel, uh, he did an awesome job. And there were some speeches that were done by Will Farrell, and there were some by Rihanna, and they had some awesome stories and some illustrious careers. Then I looked at some other speeches by Oprah, and she started giving people cars. <laughs> and then there was this billionaire who started just paying off everybody's college debt. And I said, wait a minute, Joe, let's bring it back down a little bit. <laughs> had to bring it back down to what I could definitely manage. But I was thinking, wow, they have great stories, great lives, great accomplishments. But then I said, Joe, what about you? And here I am standing in front of you as a president of St. Francis Medical Center here in Richmond. I am proof that focus, hard work, steadfastness, and a copious amount of prayer can allow someone like me from Halifax County, Virginia, this little small town, be able to stand in front of you today at your graduation giving you this address. Throughout my life, when I've been confronted with obstacles, when I've been confronted with things I need to overcome, or when I've seen people attain success that I wanted to have, I've often said to myself, well, Joe, what about you? So right now, today, I want you to look to somebody to your left or to your right and just say, what about you? So the first time I used that phrase, I was 13 years old. And my father was in a very bad car accident. And he had a fractured leg, a punctured lung, and he was going through a lot of medical care. But I saw how the doctors cared for him. I saw how the nurses cared for him. But most importantly, I saw how the physical therapist helped him to stand up again, helped him to walk 
again. And I said, I didn't know there were people that could teach you how to do these things again. And I said, Joe, what about you? So I committed right then at the age of 13 that I one day would be a physical therapist. So I went through, medical, went through middle school, I got into high school, and unfortunately by that time, my father had passed away by that time, but I had a loving mother. And she was a nurse, just like a lot of you are gonna be nurses here shortly. And she did an awesome job of caring for myself and my brother, but I knew that she would not be able to fund my college education on her own but I knew I had to get to college. I said, if I, can, if I can just get there, I'm gonna be able to make a way. And I heard about these people that had applied for scholarships and had applied for grants and were able to go to college and fund their education. And I said, Joe, what about you? So I applied for college, college education, I applied for scholarships, I applied for grants. And I was able to get into the College of William and Mary I got a couple of Pell Grants, I got some sc local scholarships, and my mom took out a small loan that she could afford, and I had gotten into college with one year fully paid for. But like I said, I just wanted to get there. If I could get there, I knew I could make it happen. So I got into my first year of college, and also while I was there, about the, you know, the first several months in, things were going pretty well, but I knew that I couldn't go beyond one year. My mom couldn't find a way to afford it. So I was looking for other ways that I could fund my education. I heard about these athletes that had tried out for different athletic teams and walked on to teams that had been given athletic scholarships. So I said, Joe, what about you? Because I was pretty good in high school, wasn't too bad. So I walked on the team at William and Mary. I walked on the team and I got onto that team and I studied hard. I went to the classroom hard, I studied. I played hard, I practiced hard, I gave it all that I could. And I came out of there in 1998, I came in as a 170 pound cornerback, but I graduated as a 210 pound starting linebacker on a full scholarship. And I'm, thank you. So I got through that first year, I got through that second year, I got through that third year and now I'm preparing to make this dream go to come true. I now have to go to physical therapy school. Now when I came out of undergraduate, there were a lot of folks going into PT school at that time. For every 60 spots, there were about 1,500 to 2,000 people that were applying to physical therapy school. So that's an acceptance rate of about two and a half to five percent. Can you all hear me out there? There we go. And the ones that were getting in, they had 4.0s. I did not have a 4.0. Unlike some of you all with your 4.0s, congratulations. I did not. So what did I do? I went to Staples. I got me some nice fancy folders. I printed out all my applications to every single PT school in the state of Virginia. I put them in the passenger seat of my car, little 86 Honda Civic and I took off, and I hand delivered every single application to every single school in the state of Virginia, and I got into one, but it only took one. So I got in here to VCU, and my dream was continuing. So I got into PT school. It was going well, my dream is getting closer. I now am nearing graduation, and I want to work with the best, as you can kind of tell by now, I'm always striving to do the best. And where's the best place to work in Richmond when it comes to helping people walk again? It's sheltering arms. I wanted to work there, but everybody wanted to work there. But I said, Joe, what about you? So I just went in there, pretty bold. I said, who leads the physical therapy department? I wanna talk to them. Can I volunteer for you? Can I just come in and give you my time? And they said, sure. So in 2001, May, I graduated from physical therapy school. In June of 2001, I started my very first job with Sheldon Arms. I had made it, my dream job was in hand. I had did it. I did my career for a couple years, but then I wanted to do more. I wanted to do more. I could feel it, I wanted to help people. But I was told, no, you can't do that, you can't do that now. And I said, why can't I do that? That's a great idea. They said administration. I said, administration, who is that? Let me talk to administration, so I did. I said, what can I do to have a job like you? And I was told that people in these jobs, they have their health administration degree. That's what they do. And I said, Joe, 
what about you? So I went back to school with the loving support of my wife. I went back to school with three kids working a full-time job. I went back to school. In 2010, I graduated with my health administration degree, and now I am ready. I am ready to help more people. But, whenever I say but, you know what's going to happen next. So, I have my degree, and I'm trying to figure out what is the next thing for me? How can I get to the next level? How can I get to helping more people again? Now, for me, if anybody knows me, I love to go fishing. That's how I think. That's how I relax. That's how I do everything when I need to calm myself down. So I went on the James River. Everybody knows the James. I was out on the James, and I'm thinking, Joe, who do you know? Who can I call? Who can I email? Who can I have coffee with? Who can I link up with? Who can I Facebook? Who do I know? All of a sudden, there was a voice that said, what about me? What about me. Right then and there, God stopped me. He reminded me that everything that I had was because of him. Now, don't get me wrong. I am super prayerful, and I, one of my favorite verses is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to not own understanding, but in all ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. But he had to remind me What about me? So I stopped racking my brain. I stopped trying to figure out what I could do. I just stopped. And two months later, I got a call from a recruiter, Amy Herr. I still know her to this day. She said, we have a job over in Southside in Petersburg in administration. Are you interested? I said, absolutely, I am. And from that day has brought me to where I am in front of you all today. As I leave you today, please remember that when you are confronted with things that you want to do, when you are confronted with aspirations that seem they may be hard to achieve, when you see people doing things that you want to do, always say, what about you? But always understand that the foundation to all of your success is made possible because all things are possible with God. So, so congratulations to each and every one of you, Brian and Stratton class of 2023. What about you? Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wilkins. On behalf of the graduation committee and the class of 2023, I offer my congratulations to you for this well-deserved recognition. Director Murphy and honored guests, the candidates assembled here have successfully completed the course of requirements for their individual majors. They have met the academic standard of the college and are therefore eligible to receive their diplomas. Graduate with academic honors are identified by gold cords. Our military veterans are identified by wearing red, white, and blue cords. Graduate with purple stove represent members of the National Technical Honor Society.
Good morning. The candidates for Bachelor of Business Administration degree and Bachelor of Science degrees. Ashley Craighead. <laughs> Lawanda Webb. Christina Jones. <laughs> Whitney Jenkins. Precious Flax. <laughs> Kiara Day. <laughs> Brittany Martinez. Don Purvis. <laughs> Meredith Long. <laughs> Amber Sherman. I present to you the candidates for Associates of Applied Science degrees. Lachelle Broswell. <laughs> Christina Brown. Evelyn Butler. <laughs> Alicia Wade. <laughs> Tony Bumpus. Lamar Bates. <laughs> he wanted to get there. Travis Awala. And April Robinson. Carolyn Raleigh. <laughs> Maya Jeffrey. <laughs> Kiara Price. Venetia Kitt. Yeah. 
Anshe Gibbons. Kevin Derricott Jr. Sarah Jones. Laura Crawford. Quanisha Johnson. Tanner Davis. Latasha Cofield. Robin Allen. Nathaniel Jones. Lisa Cleveland. Brittany Gordon. Marilyn Mason. And Dorita Kelly. Shayra Willis. Jonisha Green. And Tiana Hernandez. I present to you the candidates of Diploma Studies. Elizabeth Watkins. Anthony Fuller II. Kintella Rucker. Santera Coleman. <laughs> Michelle Gary. <laughs> Raquel Mosley. Angela Shepherdson. <laughs> Tamika Pompey. <laughs> Anna Shaw.
Therese Myers. Caridad Palacios Mayo. Sorry. Sorry. Jalisa Smith. And Carida Palacios Mayo. The previous uh, students were awarded Associates of Applied Science, Medical Reimbursement, and Coding. Good morning. Ahead of presenting the Associates of Applied Science degree, the Medical Assisting graduates will recite the Medical Assisting Creed of the AAMA. Would all medical assistant graduates please stand and repeat after me. I believe in the principles and purpose of the profession of medical assisting. I endeavor to be more effective. I aspire to render greater service. I protect the confidence entrusted to me. I am dedicated to care. I'm dedicated to the care and well-being of all people. I am loyal to my employer. I am true to the ethics of my profession. I am strengthened by compassion, courage, and strength. The Medical Assisting Program is accredited by the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Programs, the leader in accreditation of health sciences and health professions education. Bryant and Stratton Richmond, as well as our sister campus in Virginia Beach, are two of three KHEP accredited programs in the state of Virginia. The graduates presented have achieved the highest standards of quality assurance in health professions education. I now, I now proudly present to you the candidates of Associates of Applied Science degrees in Medical Assistant. Lydia Anderson. Brittany Sims. Fallon Ford. <laughs> Leandre Downing. Tatiana Conyers. Daniela Barrera. And Nicholas Reed. I now present you Diploma, Medical Billing and Coding. Abigail Hines. <laughs> Jamisha Hill.
Courtney Cole. Kiara Gaines. Latresa Harris. Stacy Blackwell. Jamie Goosby. Tamika Copeland. Lakia Bryant. Kamisha Jones. Amber Kelly. <laughs> Penelope Rollins. <laughs> Charmaine LaFortune. Deshaun Johnson. And Jamie Murphy. Good morning. Good morning. We will now start the pinning ceremony for our nursing graduates. The pinning ceremony is a unique and memorable ceremony for the nursing community. The pinning ceremony is a symbolic welcoming of graduate nurses into the nursing profession. Not only does it mark the completion of students' coursework, but this ceremony honors nursing graduates who will work in a career where they will have to be selfless for the good of many others just like Florence Nightingale. Today we honor Florence Nightingale as the lady with the lamp. At this time, I would like to invite Michelle Richardson, our clinical coordinator, to come and light the lamp. In the era of Florence Nightingale, the lamp enabled nurses to make rounds at night to ensure the safety and well-being of patients. This morning, we honor Florence Nightingale, the lady with the lamp, as we honor our nursing graduates. Would all nursing associate of applied science and practical nursing diploma study graduates please stand and repeat after me as we recite the Nightingale Pledge. I pledge before faculty, my colleagues, and those assembled to conduct my nursing practice with integrity and compassion and to uphold these fundamental principles of my discipline. to practice caring in the forefront of all other professional pursuits. To advocate for clients' rights to ethical, equal, and quality care. To 
to honor the boundaries of privileged trust inherent in the nursing-client relationship and keep in confidence all personal information entrusted thereof. to respect the uniqueness of each individual and provide care that honors the value of diversity and the socially disenfranchised to be heard and understood. To collaborate with our colleagues in other healthcare disciplines to facilitate coordinated client centered, cost-effective care. To advance the nursing profession in research, practice teaching, and administration. To practice lifelong learning, recognizing that effective care is born of knowledge, understanding, and personal awareness. To these ends, I do hereby commit all my professional endeavors. I present to you the candidates of Associates of Applied Science degree in nursing. Rachel Evans. Jasmine Fennelson. Michelle Christensen. Adrena Cooley. Dawn McGee. Jasmine Beard. <laughs> Tiffany Wyatt. <laughs> Courtney Wakili. Aisha Lee. <laughs> Andrea Canada. <laughs> Brittany Shelton. Lisa Slamen. <laughs> Caleb Sheppa. <laughs> Ashley Palmer.
Erica Martinez. Tyra Andrews. Meseret Mohidan. <laughs> David Pierce. Destiny Robert. <laughs> Alexis Garrett. <laughs> Rayshon Henderson. Marco Good. Quanisha Rush. Pauline Bailey. Diane McKenzie. Is this her name? I present, okay, Mandy Chen, in Gargiola, Rosa in Gargiola, Ashley in Gargiola. <laughs> Mariah Payne. <laughs> Melanie Ferguson. Courtney McMillan. <laughs> Benjamin Wilkinson. <laughs> Shelly Saunders. Sharika Mills. <laughs> Taylor Keaton. <laughs> Monel Antoine. Kyle Longergen. <laughs> um, I'll just read it off the card. Diploma, practical.
I present to you Diploma Practical Nurse Degrees, Jasmine Cole. China Jenkins. Frenchy Burks. <laughs> Ashley Bennett. Jennifer Barnes. <laughs> Ashley Rainey Gray. Andrea Knapp. Kirsty McNeil. Gotcha. Brittany Jackson. Victoria Shasson. Sherry Lawson. <laughs> Yatundi Amajola. <laughs> Angel Brown. Katima Booker. <laughs> Mania Davis. <laughs> Miyoshi Jane Speller. Janelle Bell. <laughs> Rihanna Shaw. <laughs> Jordan Hancock. Camille Tucker. Jaquana Thompson. Tierra White. Tasha Bright. <laughs> Ashley Collins. <laughs> Naya Collier. Shannon Avent. Yeah. 
Valerie Ford. Kiera Coleman. Jokia Ridley. <laughs> Kianya Bolden. Niasha Taylor. And Mahogany Claiborne. Would all the candidates for graduation from Bryan and Stratton College please stand? By the authority of the Governing Board of Brighton and Stratton College, with the approval of the Commonwealth of Virginia, I am pleased to declare you official graduates of Brighton and Stratton College. <laughs> to symbolize your new status, you may move your tassels from right to left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the 2023 graduating class of Bryan and Stratton College. So may, may we all please stand for De as Deborah Merritt delivered the De benediction, followed by Director Murphy, who will close the commencement ceremony. Father, we are grateful and thankful to you for your presence. As we come to the end of celebration today, we thank you for what has been accomplished. May we all discover the gifts that you have given us to move forward and seek growth in all areas of our lives. Thank you for our graduates, their families and friends, and the faculty and staff of Bryant and Stratton College. Now, as we prepare to leave this afternoon, we ask your hands to remain on us, watch over and keep us safe as we go our separate ways. These and all other blessings we ask in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Merritt. This has been an awesome Friday. Woo! Graduates, the faculty and staff commend you on your dedication and hard work in achieving the spectacular goal. As this magnificent ceremony comes to a close, remember, you made the difference. I am proud to be the first to call you Bryant and Stratton College alumni. <laughs> Audience, please remain standing and the aisles clear as the faculty, staff, and alumni recess. Thank you. Thank you.